Hey guys, it's Bobby, aka Paginator, and today we're going to talk about Defemorember. If you're not familiar, Defemorember is a December daily or kind of daily um, ephemera making celebration. This is the third year of it and it is hosted by the amazing Louisa Heinzel from Louisa Heinzel Junk Journal Art and Barbara from 49 Dragonflies and uh, this year I am way 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 behind schedule. December is super busy uh, for lots of reasons um, but I have managed to get some things done so I'm going to be showing you some of the things that I have done so far and then we're going to be making something in today's video. So the first thing you can see is my very large three ring binder journal here. We've got some Tim Holtz fabric and Effie who is the creation of Louisa and Barbara. He's kind of the mascot of Defemorember this year. We have a title right here that says Defemorember and then 2023 and then behind Effie we have some gorgeous paper that has been coffee dyed and has some gold on it. I got from an Etsy shop and I wanted to um, use something in a project of my own instead of putting all of it into journals that I'm giving or selling to other people. Inside the binder we have a pocket. Now this is also done with fabric. Uh, this is Tim Holtz fabric too, I believe. And in the pocket we've got this prompt folder. Louisa and Barbara did little freebies and stuff to help you make it. And there is the prompt list. And it goes right in this pocket right here. And then there's another pocket with we've got some tickets and things and little bits. I can also add some notes there if I want to do some planning ahead, etc. And this um, just closes like this by tucking in here. The other thing that I have in this pocket is a three-hole punch guide. Barbara and Louisa are doing theirs in a smaller size binder with six rings, and I didn't have one of those available to me, so I am using a regular size three-hole ring, three hole, um, ring binder, and this is, uh, creates the need to have very large pages. And just as a heads up, as I am filming this, I'm also trying to watch the NFR. It's the final round, round 10. And I, if I interrupt this to go watch it, my apologies. But this is like my favorite sport and like the world championships. So I'm being distracted currently by a bareback ride. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, my brother used to be a bareback rider. He rodeoed in high school and college, and it's one of my favorite events in the sport of rodeo to watch. Okay, back to Defem Um We were asked to make a door, and then later in December, there's going to be more to add to it. So I don't know if what I've made is going to work with that, but I can always just make another door. And we have... I had this printable that I got from Louisa's shop, and I printed it twice, once large and then once smaller. And so the whole page is the big version and it's mounted on black cardstock. And then we have the smaller version also mounted on black cardstock. And this is a pocket. And this is a pocket here. And then when you open the door, Effie's inside and he's standing on a stack of books and there's a, um, some plants and mushrooms and different things inside here and he's holding a balloon. So he's celebrating the fact that we're starting to remember. One of the other things that we were tasked with making um, for December or for, for December Ember is a bowl for scraps. Um, Louisa and Barbara exchanged scraps and um, some people out there exchange, found a buddy to exchange scraps with. I didn't have such a buddy, so I just made my own bowl and I'm putting my own scraps in there. And if we look in the bottom of the bowl, there's Effie. Isn't he cute? So I've already got a few scraps here. This piece of black lace, which was just sitting around on my desk, some of that coffee dyed paper, and then a couple of pieces of scrap paper that um, were from a different project, but I thought were pretty and might come in handy. I don't have to use anything here. I am able to if I choose. All right, so I thought today we would work on the day one prompt, which is um, to include a butterfly and three torn things, or is it two? I need to check my prompt list. A butterfly and three torn things. I'm going to be using some inspiration from Barbara's video as well as one of her freebies that she used in this video. I now have some lovely herbal tea ready to go and I'm going to set that aside and let it cool just a little bit. And I've got some butterflies. Now this as a single big size butterfly is what Barbara used and it is a freebie that she offered in her shop. You can find it on her Kofi page. Um, 
However, I decided that I wanted a bunch of smaller butterflies. I think I'm going to use five, but I printed six anyway, just in case, because with the idea that I had, I might ruin one. <laughs> Actually, it's highly likely that I could ruin multiple butterflies. So we're going to start by just cutting um, or separating the individual pieces here. I don't have to be exact because with what I'm going to be doing, we do not need super fussy cutting at this point. Yes, 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 yes. This is good ride, this is good ride, this is good ride. So what I plan on doing is with each butterfly, I'm going to carefully tear around the edges instead of cut. This could be a disaster. I don't know, let's try it. One down, five more to go. I accidentally tore off that bottom extra bit, so I might, depending on how the others go, just rip off those pieces on both sides. Let's try the rest of them. Okay, maybe that wasn't the best idea. <laughs> My hands have been so sore lately, just tendonitis and some carpal tunnel and cubital tunnel pain and ripping around these didn't help. I'm also making a whole bunch of Oreo truffles today. <laughs> it's, it's Christmas, there's a crazy amount of things to do. But we have our six butterflies all torn around and normally I would take some Distress Oxide and a, and a sponge and go around them, but this time I wanna try something a little bit different. I have some vintage photo distress spray stain. This was given to me by um, the art teacher at my school. She ordered a two pack and she thought that I could use the other one. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of this on this wax paper that I've got laying down and add a bit of water to thin it down. And then I'm gonna dip the butterflies into the spray. So we'll give that a try and hopefully I don't ruin everything. <laughs> The butterflies are off drying right now and my fingers are nice and stained so that'll be great for church tomorrow. <laughs> um, here we have a piece of some kids Wrangler jeans, some kids size. So um, they're just zipped, just the fly is just zipped up. Um, the button is cut off and originally my intention was to take some pieces of jeans and rip them and then patchwork them together to make a fabric page. But I, the more I look at this piece right here, I think I just want to cut it down to eight and a half by 11 and just have this be the page that we're going to attach our butterflies to. Now we need to mark where we're going to punch the holes. Ay ay ay. aye. This wasn't good planning because, I mean, I guess we'll have to make it work, but, oh, that's right in the middle. Um, I'm gonna go get my big bite because that will be easier on my wrists than using the regular size crocodile. All right, I'm gonna shift this down just a little bit so it's not gonna be dead center because we need something to punch through. Holes are punched. I do think I wanna take a little bit off of this top edge here because the um, there's a little bit of a wonky line and we had to offset that. So I'm gonna pull this back up here 
and I'm just going to take a quarter of an inch, I think. Here's the next big question. Do I want to put metal eyelets through these holes? I have done eyelets through denim before and they have worked. Um, I don't know why I keep these rose gold eyelets. They don't fit with my tools. And I've probably said that in a video before because I ask myself that every time I open this little box. But I think we're going to try with these kind of bronzy colored ones. And if they don't work, they don't work. But we'll give it a shot. All right, I took a little break from filming just for a couple of minutes. Um, I wanted to make sure the butterflies were dry, so I used my little heat tool. And uh, I also found a strip of the fabric that's on the inside of the Defender Ember journal, and I just cut five little scrappy pieces. I don't know if these will end up in the finished page or not, but we've got those. And then I also want to take some of this coffee dyed kind of cheesecloth netting stuff and cut five pieces of that. All right, so I'm not sure how I can incorporate these little guys because I need another torn thing. It's supposed to be a butterfly and two torn things. Although I guess there's five butterflies and all of them are torn. Um, I'm not going to use this six butterfly. It has this weird smudge and then like it just didn't quite get inked well on this wing. Sorry, I'm using the weird any out of focusy camera. Um, I don't know. Maybe could I create the butterfly bodies with these somehow? Like that. I don't like that. Um, let's see what it looks like if I put like this. Oh, sorry, I did it out of frame. Okay, I like that better. So we've got the cheesecloth stuff and then the fabric scrap and the butterfly on top. I'm wondering if I need something on top of the butterfly though, like to create some antenna or I don't mind if they don't have an antenna. Um, maybe add some dimension in the middle where the, the body is because I did cut a rip part of it off there. So I was thinking I might use Fabri-Tac to glue these all together, but with my hands as in much pain as they are and my Fabri-Tac bottle being as big of a jerk as it is today, the glue is not coming out. So I'm going to plug in the hot glue gun and we'll use hot glue to attach these. Um, and while I'm waiting for that to warm up, I might fiddle around with the placement of the butterflies on the page. If I, yeah, I'll come back in a minute. <laughs> so here's something I didn't think I would end up telling you. I decided that five was not the right number for this page. We have four butterfly clusters. The five was just too crowded, and even though five was my favorite number, it just wasn't right for the look of this page. I usually like to work in odd numbers, so that's also going to bug me a little bit, but we're just going to have to let it be because that was the right choice for this page. This butterfly is still a little bit fiddly. Um, I didn't glue down all of the edges around the butterflies because I wanted them to kind of pop up a little bit, especially on the ends of the wings. I am just gonna get a little bit more right in there though. I'm gonna take our binder and put this in. I want to put this on top just in case any of the glue hasn't quite dried. I don't want it to stick to that other page. And we'll take out our prompt list and we can put a check mark there. <gasps> Three torn things. Um, there, I just ripped a piece off of the netting underneath one of the butterflies. <laughs> I forgot it was three and not two. But you are my witnesses. I did tear that piece of netting and look I'll do it again just in case you need to see it look that's torn again too so we made it we made it <laughs> uh, the next prompt is salvaged birds I honestly don't know when I'm gonna get around to this cuz Christmas season super busy but that is okay it doesn't have to be done on schedule 
I would always be in big trouble if it did. So, so that's going to be it for this video. Have a wonderful, magical, and bookish day. Happy reading, crafting, or journaling. Adios.